Number one, supplies can cease over time when foolishness is louder than wisdom. If you will not suffer as it were in the future, pay attention to asset more than liabilities. What is liability? Is liabilities is investing in the perishable. Why asset is investing in the unperishable? A man buys a car of 10 million naira. Another man buys a car of a land of 10 million naira. The land of 10 million naira in 10 years, we appreciate. The car of 10 million naira in one year. If I see there's no work coming. In one month. Thank you, sir. That's the transporter talking. Am I speaking to someone here? Why supply ceases? It's because some men don't understand that there is the season of heat favor. There's the season of plenty and there's a possible season of scarcity. Joseph said, what you saw, the fat cows... It's a sign of seven years of plenty. He said, those tiny cows is seven years of famine. And do you know the mystery of that story? He said, for the seven he cows swallowed up the seven favored cows. That means when wisdom is not in place, plenty can be swallowed by scarcity. You need the wisdom of Joseph. To continually remain relevant when you have once hit the mark as it were. To have so much money and all you have to show is a luxury rented apartment in a choice area in Lagos with flashy cars. You are all men most miserable. I repeat again. A two bedroom flat landlord in Moe is better than a tenant who don't know what they do in a Koei. Hear me well. Not every man who chooses to rent house in Ikoi is proud. Hear me. Some of them are there because it's a secret of their multiplying money. My driver wanted to rent a house because of his job description. And then he was getting a very cheap house in a very far place. And then the house he was getting close to his workplace was more expensive. Inciting a company, two things are involved. Proximity to market or proximity to raw materials. And then he said to me, I called him. I said, sit down. How much will it cost you to and fro every day to come to work? He calculated it. I said, now we don't have a price tag for distress. <laughs> because distress has no price tag. Yes. When I was true with him, he discovered that 150 in after Woyaya is nothing compared to 320 in Aja. Where he can come out and even trek if he chooses to. You see, the first payment is your problem. But the other things you don't calculate. One of the reasons why supply ceases, it's when men are liability conscious and don't pay attention to asset. Whatever you earn is not too small to pursue asset. Asset. Assets. Assets for your company, assets for your organization, assets for your family, assets. For your ministry, assets. Assets. It's a plus. I understand that you want to be in a choice place. That decision to have a property in a choice place can make you never to have properties. Because you keep looking for the big break that will give you property in a choice place. And you can start getting it in a low cost areas. And over time, that area we appreciate. Ikoi was once a forest. A 
A man said to me, when I bought these lands, I bought them at 2002. No, I'm forgetting how much. I said he bought them about 2.2 million per whatever. He said today it sells. He said with Nyanga, I can sell it for almost 80 something million. Over time. You cast your bread upon the water. And after many days, you find it. Somebody been blessed at all. Let me give you one fundamental truth. Biblically, why divine supply ceases? Can I tell you? It's when you suddenly listen to me. When God gives you provision and you don't make Him a priority, your supplies misses. Can I show you something in Matthew seventeen twenty seven? Let me show you. Please. Matthew 17, 27. I need speed here. He said, no, we start unless we should offend them. Go down to the sea and cast an hook and take up the fish that first cometh up. Can we read the other part together? One to go. And when thou hast opened his mouth, thou shalt find a piece of money that take and give unto them for who first? Talk to me. Who first? Me. Who first? Me. He said, thou shalt give to them for me first before thee. When God is not the first, you may not enjoy the rest. Did I make a point? Yes, sir. Can I tell you about Genesis chapter 4 verse 4? And the Bible says, and Abel gave to God the firstling of all. And Abel, he also brought of the firstlings of the flock and of the fat thereof. Somebody shall first. Say it like you mean it. Say God first. Have you read the story of Anna? Do you know Anna gave birth to other children? Is it true? But if you read your Bible, what did Anna do to Samuel? He gave God first. First Kings 17, 13. And Elijah said unto her, fear not. Go and do as thou hast said. Can we read it together? I want to go to the next part. But make me therefore a little cake. If you read that story continuously, the Bible says all through the season of famine, the brooks didn't cease, the bread didn't stop. But what did he say to him? Give me first. Can I show you Exodus 22, 29? Supply does not cease. Where God is the first. He said, Thou shalt not delay to offer the first of thy ripe fruits, of thy liquors, the firstborn of thy son, shall thou give unto who? Who? You want to enjoy divine supply continually? The God must have the right of place. The priority of what? Of the first. Give God first. You know what Elijah said to her? He said, give me first. Never take God's portion to settle your situation. You may look for another God's supply to help yourself. He said, give me first. You and the child will die. Leave that first. God first. When God is settled, the battles are settled. The other thing that can make supply not to cease is 2 Kings chapter 4, verse 1 to 6. If you check it, I call it mental approach. Somebody shout your mental approach. Your supply can cease when you have a limited mentality or when you are limited in your mentality, you can stop the flow of God. Am I talking to somebody here? If you read that story, it was when Elijah said to the woman who came to him, I said, what do you have? She said she has a pot of oil. Is it true? And then he said, go and borrow. Am I talking here? Let's look at that 2 Kings chapter 4, verse 5 and 6 quickly. I just want to show you something. Verse 5 and 6. It says, so she went from him and shut the door upon her, upon her sons, who brought the vessels to her, and she poured out. And it came to pass, when the vessels were full, that she said unto her son, bring me yet a vessel. And he said unto her, there is not a vessel more. And what happened to the oil? Why did supply cease? Is it because heaven ceased? What happened? Because earth had no emptiness. 
So your limit of God determines the extent of God. Don't limit God by your emptiness. When they tell you borrow, don't borrow few pot, borrow reservoir. Because you didn't have limitation to the extent to which you can borrow. Lift your two hands and just ask him, Lord, I need a baptism of fresh wisdom.